The pandering panda year came around, and the last of the greatest worst panda snuff films was set into motion picture fantasy land. With the demise of the most telling director the world has seen, the industry just pushed forward like it always does, barreling through everyone and everything in its path. It's an industry where its participants tell us to denounce the firing of a hand's weapon as they play the next action hero, Hank the Kid Murdering Molester, who just wants his breakfast muffins lightly toasted. What hypocrisy this frackish world of fake make-believe puts on us, touts blabber or crybaby agendas left and right, while the very industry they take part in promotes violence and rape and has one of the biggest diversity problems we have ever seen. Who cares about that nowadays as long as you say the right thing and show your masters you are on board for their false positive narrative, they cannot wait to take hold on the public. With the current state of filmmaking and blow business, it makes you wonder just how long these gatekeepers can hold us back and keep us at bay. It's an elite small club of smiling gangsters and if you're not approved to be there, well then you're on your own. But if your genetics are just right, you will be happily helped along down the hellhole trap storm. Keep the wise words of megastar adulterous compliantologist Mr. Dumb Loose in mind the next time you want to be a star. Make sure you are as pliable as a pliomalleable prince frog. Sacrifice your ideals and throw yourself into something you know very little about. But who cares, you have pseudo void filling fame and money to go along with it all. With that attitude, it's only a matter of time before you find yourself on the set of Cider-Man 34, the Trojan Horse Years starring Damsel the Flying Erection Master. But in all seriousness, seriousness is something to be serious about. So if you think you have what it takes to be a Hollywood elitist and can tell others to be tolerant of everyone so long as they have the same beliefs crooked industry where minorities are praised with words but not work or dollars, then get in line and be sure you brought your knee pads. Actions are overrated in a world filled with lazy words.